Alright people, welcome back, more card reviews. So today, uh, recently today actually, Ignite just got a new card. Uh, it's, it's kind of revealed that a couple of uh, archetypes from the past, to, what we thought were finished, we're getting a couple new cards, the Rome Ages, and I think Cleaves and Ignites, and you know, all that good stuff. So Ignites got a new quick play spell, so we're going to go ahead and look at this card and determine whether Ignites will run it. Uh, of course, you know, what we know is Ignites probably isn't their full potential. You know, generally we know them as just a pure pendulum-based deck, generally relying on their... Uh, you know, the Pendulum summoned up their rank four plays to make like Rom like they're really not that strong of an archetype. They're really not like the Pendulum scale affects the pop and get that. That's uh, that's okay. Uh, but of course, they're no monsters, so really no effects. And they really got to rely on other mechanics such as maybe synchroing or fusing or exceeding to really get some bite out of them. Uh, a lot of lockdown, some tyrant throws, and stuff like that, and heat wave. And really, this is just really just a butthole deck. Like with the heat wave and tyrant throw and ROM, they're going to pretty much try to lock you out of dueling. Of course, we're right magical library to draw a stupid amount of cards because that's just how a magical library works it's, it's not hit and they love to take advantage of it they have a pretty powerful card called ignite reload which is uh nice to go ahead and uh for every ignite oh well, not even I, I think it's just pendulum based card uh shuffle a backdrop to the plus one which means that you're not taking a neck like you would do if you did like reload or magical mallet but of course uh you can't draw uh, i think it's like you can't draw or you can't add any cards to your hand further so and I don't play because they're so busy playing Royal Magical Library that they don't want to play a card like that, even though it's fairly good. So, they got this new card called Ignite Unite, and uh, we'll see if they actually play this card. So, it's a quick play spell card. It simply reads, target what Ignite card you control. So, of course, that includes your Pendulum Scales. Uh, it does not include your Field Spots. I believe that's Ignition, Ignition Phoenix. So, not Ignite. So, none of that. Uh, destroy it. Okay. And if you do... Especially if you summon one Ignite monster from your deck, you can only activate one Ignite Unite per turn. That is pretty good. That is actually pretty good. And it might allow Ignites to actually play their boss monsters that they never, ever play. Like, I've dueled plenty of Ignites, and I don't think I've ever seen Ignite Lancer or Ignite Champion. And they're pretty good cards. It's just, they're a little bit too difficult to summon uh, of course, with one being level 7, one being level 8, and the Ignite Pendulum scales between 2 and 7, you're not going to be Pendulum summoning that. So, uh, they're like, wait, well, you can you can special summon this by popping three Ignite cards on the field. And it's like, eh, you know? Uh, of course, you can go ahead and just Pendulum summon a whole bunch of Ignite monsters and then pop those. Those guys will go back to your deck and summon your champion of your Lancer. But three, it's a little too much. And, you know, you might have to, you know, risk popping your Pendulum scale. So, I don't think that I've ever seen any Ignite player actually attempt to summon Lancer or champion. Even though their effects are pretty good. Lancer's okay, you know? Go ahead and return an uh, Ignite monster back to your hand to target a... Well, not even target. You just select. Like, uh, their effects don't even target. Take a back row, put it the bottom of your deck. I mean, that would be pretty decent to, you know, crack a pendulum scale or get rid of a Cosmo Town or something. It's not the greatest. But the champion, on the other hand, does that to monsters. So non-targeting, returning to the bottom of the deck, that's pretty good. That's pretty good, you know? I'm dueling against, you know, Cosmos or something. You got a Dark Destroyer. I summon my champion, return a Ignite monster back to my hand. Go ahead and take that Dark Destroyer, put the bottom of the deck. I don't target. And, of course, you know, I'm getting rid of you and putting you to the deck. To the deck. Non-targeting, returning to the deck, as we know, of course. You got that Tiramisu. We got that Igni! We got that Drowning Mirror for us, so you already know, them cards are thumbs up and great, so, uh, you know, if you could pull off Champion much easier, this is great, you know, you go ahead and just set up a Pendulum Scale, Pendulum Summon, Ignite, Unite, go ahead, uh, target one of your Ignite monsters, Pendulum Summon, destroy it, goes back to extra deck, Summon Champion, Champion, go ahead and use your effect, return, and return something, uh, one of your opponent's monsters to the bottom of the deck, non-targeting style, so that's pretty good, I think, I think the Ignites will run that, do I think they're gonna run Lancer and Champion, maybe not, but the, the ability to go ahead and exchange one of your, your Ignites for a different level Pendulum Monster-esque Ignite is pretty good, now, uh, it, it's debatable on whether you take a neck on this, of course, depends on what you're destroying, because of course, if you're gonna go ahead and destroy an Ignite Monster, it's gonna go back to the extra deck, because usually you have a monster on the field, play this card, destroy that monster, and strain for another monster, so you would technically be taking the neck one, but of course the monster's gonna go back to the extra deck where you can pendulum summon it later, so it's debatable. But, you know, like I said, with when it comes to Ignites and how they're played, how stunny they are, they love to go into ROM. ROM, you need, you know, multiple level four warriors, so, you know, 
you might draw into some threes, you might draw into some fives, some sixes, depends on what level ignites you're running. You can easily just go like, oh, I summon this four or five, and I don't want this one, so ignite, unite. They go ahead and destroy him, he'll go back to the extra deck, and then I'll summon a four, and then, you know, do the proper play that I want to do, this, do the stun-based play. So, you know, uh, do I see them maybe attempting to play a Lionstone Champion? Maybe, but if they're just going to stick with what they are, I mean, of course, it's another spell card from our magical library, so that's good. And uh, it gets you your, uh, your more stunny base plays of your rank 4 plays uh, set in motion, so that's a good as well. Or, you know, your rank 5s or your rank 6s, I mean, you know, whatever play you want to do, so it is there for you. So overall, it is actually a pretty good card. I mean, summoning from the deck is always just, yeah, in Yu-Gi-Oh. And sometimes when it comes to summoning from the deck in Yu-Gi-Oh, it generally gets hit. I mean, come on. So, uh, I mean, look at Tour Guy, look at Summoner Monk, look at, I mean, for Burning Abyss, look at Graf, he's the one that got hit. <laughs> so, you know, summoning from the deck is generally not uh, more frowned upon. So, this, I mean, it's a pretty good card. Ignite, nice. go ahead, summon. So, I would love to go ahead. I mean, Lancer, not so much, but Champion, I would like to see some of that, because I think, I could think you could have some potential with that. So, anyway, uh, fun fact, uh, as of this week, you know, I've been playing a little bit of Silent Swordsman. I've been playing it with more of the PK engine, and ironically, Lysian put up a video. I was like, hey, look, Silent Swordsman with the, with the, the Phantom Knights is so good. It's like, no, because I want to do more Silent Swordsman plays. So actually, on Tuesday, tomorrow, um, we're going to be playing Silent Swordsman, but I'm actually going to be throwing Ignites in there. All right? They're a warrior-based deck, of course, so... If I Pendulum Summon, should be one of my Ignite, Summon my Silent Swordsman, you know, Silent Swordsman, Silent Swordsman, then, uh, of course, he'll be on the field, they're Warriors, they go back extra, that's great, I can Pendulum Summon, but then I also want to throw a little bit of more Silent Swordsman, because I kind of feel like you guys selected Silent Swordsman, yet I haven't really been doing much of Silent Swordsman, because it's just, you know, six cards, you know, just three Silent Swordsmen, three of his Quick Play Spell, and then, you know, I guess like a, a level seven, just in case my Silent Swordsman dies, I can summon uh, any other level Silent Swordsman from my hand or deck. Ignoring summoning conditions, so that's fine, but I want to throw more in there, so we're going to do an Ignite for using their Pendulum mechanic. Throw in level 5, so, you know, uh, Silent Swordsman level 5. Uh, throw in some level up, so I can level up in level 7. Throw in more Silent Swordsman. You guys asked for Silent Swordsman, so I'm going to try to give you some more Silent Swordsman base, and I think Ignite's the perfect deck to go ahead and, and help out uh, that. Uh, I don't believe that this card will be... I will, probably won't be on Death Pearl, maybe, maybe YG Death Pearl by the time I record. But, um, you know, I'm not sure if I'll run it because I'm not running too many Ignite cards. I think I'm just running the five, the six, the fives, and the four. Four, five, six. I think those are the ones that I'm running. So, uh, that's a couple of Pendulum-based monsters. So, you know, we could do some XCU plays and all them Silent Swordsman plays. So, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, you know, I mean, should I put my money where my mouth is and actually do, you know, the champion play? Like I said, that I, I wanted to do. So, that's it that Ignite should do. I don't know. I don't know. It really depends. And the funny thing is that deck suggestions and all that shit and polls will be going up this week and we'll, we'll be switching out. So if Silent Swordsman doesn't get another month, I'm not sure if we'll have it in time for Ignite Unite. Because if it's not out by, you know, tomorrow Tuesday, when I record, if I record on tomorrow Tuesday, it could be recorded on Monday, then I'm not sure if I'll get the useless card. So it really depends on how fast YGO Pro update and whether my tag partner wants to do on YGO Pro or Depro. All right, just a little bit of a tidbit there. <laughs> Off topic, but hey. Anyway, tell me what you guys think about Ignite Unite in the comment section below. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this card review. Thanks for watching, thanks for support, and of course, I will be back on Wednesday with another card to look at. Alright, people, thanks for watching.